guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i'm jalissa so today i'm doing a different type of video you guys have been actually requesting this and i never thought about filming this video and i'm like wait you guys want to know how i do my doobie and it's like well yeah i'm gonna teach you guys right now how i do my doobie so if you don't know what a doobie is it's a very very easy way to preserve your blowout for like a week <laughs> i always do this when i blow out my hair and when i go to sleep i just don't go to sleep with my hair like this just like down like obviously i don't i mean if you do and you wake up with really nice hair then good for you but that doesn't happen with me uh-uh it gets frizzy it gets poofy and no i need to do a doobie every single night when i blow out my hair if i want it to last long <laughs> but a doobie is super common in the dominican republic and i'm just curious like is it common in your country as well and in your culture like let me know in the comments down below i'm pretty sure other cultures do it as well but do you guys do it this way as well like how i do it or do you do it in a different way just let me know in the comments down below i want to have a conversation down there with you guys so comment 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 <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys very quickly what i do to preserve my blowout um for it to last like a whole week of course if i don't go to the gym that entire week and if i don't sweat like crazy then yeah it will last a week but if i go to the gym and i sweat like crazy it's not gonna last me a week oh no after the gym i'm probably gonna have to maybe put my hair up or i don't know but it the sweat really just messes up my blowout so anyways let me show you guys what i do it is very very simple all you need is like a comb or something i'm actually going to use this paddle brush that i have i prefer paddle brushes this is actually an attachment from a hair tool that i have which by the way stay tuned i will be uploading that video right after this video so stay tuned if you want to know what hair tool i'm talking about but anyways so i use a brush i also use una redecilla <laughs> which is like a net so some people use this to like you know if they work in the kitchen or something they got to put this on their hair so that the hair doesn't fall on the food that's what i use <laughs> so i got mine at a dominican beauty salon and you gotta get the perfect redecilla for your head like it can't just be like too loose too tight you gotta try it on you have to try it on and it has to be like perfect like do you see what i'm saying like it's not too big it's not too tight it's just right <laughs> i'm gonna try and link one of these down below but i would really recommend that you try it on some people do a doobie with bobby pins but i don't do that because i don't really know how to do it and it gets like too complicated and i feel like it's just way easier to do it like this how i'm gonna show you guys without bobby pins just with this and that's it let me show you guys what i do so the first thing that i do is that i part my hair into two sections i'm gonna use this paddle brush i make sure that i detangle everything very well okay so i just fixed the camera a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better what i'm doing but what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna flip my hair i'm gonna put all the hair forward can you guys see me yeah okay so i'm just putting all the hair forward and i'm brushing it so that there's no knots then i take my net and i put it like this can't believe i'm showing you guys how to do a tubi <laughs> like that's interesting okay so i put it like this okay and then i start kind of putting my hair inside the net <laughs> inside the redesilla okay i brought you guys back down but i just start kind of putting the hair inside the net like this See what i'm doing okay <laughs> how funny do i look so now i like to kind of <laughs> i look so funny i like to kind of like take the net and spin it around a little bit 
so that my hair is nice and like in place like this and there's the tubi it's very simple that's pretty much what i do i like to use a baño and just kind of wrap it around and tie it and then i go to sleep like this <laughs> and then when i wake up i take this off and then i take this off this is the next day when i wake up okay so this is the next day when i wake up and there you have it oh yeah <laughs> But yeah, you can kind of play around with it and bring it to the front. So yeah, when you wake up, you can just brush your hair again. And it's going to look just fine. I promise you. It's going to look just fine. And I really recommend doing a doobie if you want your hair or your blowout to just last so long. Of course, this excludes going to the gym and sweating like crazy. You know, that's like a different story. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like when I put my tubi down. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different because when you go to sleep, you maybe move around and stuff. So, I mean, maybe when you wake up, it's not going to be looking too perfect. But trust me, it's going to look a lot better than you just going to sleep with your hair down or in a ponytail. Like, this is really going to help your hair just, like, stay very sleek. And it's not going to leave any marks, like, any, like, ponytail, like, marks or any, like, bobby pin marks. So, si tú eres como yo y te un tubi antes de dormir, te déjame saber en los comentarios. Ya lo sabe. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. And if you liked this video, then I'm sure you're going to like these videos as well. So make sure you go ahead and check out those videos. Bye, guys. Love you.